Hi guys, this is Nicky Romero. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you some of my gear, uh, equipment, uh, studio stuff, plugins. Um, yeah, well, you've been frequently asking me what I'm using, and yeah, well, to answer everybody separately, it's not very smart. So I just want to make a movie and let you know what I'm using. Um, well, let's start right here. This is my uh, my kind of mic corner. I don't have uh, a vocal um, room yet, but it's in my new studio. It surely will be. This is my um, Behringer C1. I just bought it when I uh, started producing, and yeah, sounds well for its price. But just bought another one, which sounds better. This is the the Rode NT1A. Um, yeah, well, I'm using it a lot now. I recorded iFan uh, with this one, with uh, my new track The Life, which will be released at Spinning Records, including a video clip in January. Um, yeah, sounds pretty well, and yeah, for its price, definitely. So I can re recommend you this one. Uh, this is an old one, actually not using it anymore, but uh, for instruments which have very loud output, it's very well. Um, yeah, as you see, this is my, uh, my um, yeah, how you call it, um, spin hook, no, spin corner. Um, I'm recording my live, uh, my live sets right here. Um, as you see, it's not very, it's very basic. Actually, it's a CD1000 with uh, DJM 800. Um, yeah, with uh, the KRK RP8 series. I used to uh, to use this one for my productions, but I just changed to uh, to DIN audios. Uh, they sound very well, but they they are very loud and get a lot of low frequencies. And my neighbors started complaining, so I had I really had to change. Um, they do sound well, so if you about to buy it, just about to buy the new Siri because this is the old one. But they sound good, but you have to uh, to make sure your neighbors not going to complain. Then uh, that's okay. Um, yeah, the stands. I've been asked what stands I'm using. Actually, uh, I've been in Hartwell Studio and I saw this one. And yeah, I asked him uh, where I can get it. So you can get it at Feedback. And um, yeah, well, they're very good, you see. And uh, works well for me. Not very special. Um, then we go to my, uh, yeah, kind of production corner. Um, yeah, it's very basically not, not that much hardware. These are my new uh, my new speakers, the Audio BM5A, and they are very good, sound very well. I am um, yeah. When I was at the shop, I almost bought the uh, I went for the BM6A because I really thought those those were better, but it seemed to be the BM5A sounded better in high frequencies and could have more low frequencies. So I've been there and I bought the BM5A. So that's uh, that's fun. You see the stands again. I bought a few sets. Um, this is my virus. I use this virus for um, yeah a lot of synths. Um, actually, I made the the new my new track the live with this one and my new heart soul housequake. I'm sorry, housequake remix. Used it for it and it sounds very well, very warm. Um, yeah, I can definitely uh, recommend you this one. It's not that it's not that um, priceful. So yeah, well, kind of MIDI controller. Everybody knows very basically and. Then we go to my uh, MIDI controller. This is the Mackey, the Mackey Logic Control. Um, yeah, well, I'm actually using it for a few uh, master sessions, and it um, actually, yeah, it's it's, it's just the control. So you have the controls in your fingers, and you don't have to do with your mouse everything. So as you see, um, the faders are motor controlled. When I select the channel, you see everything moving. It's pretty fun. Works well for me. Um, yeah, well, then uh, my MacBook, everybody knows, uh, of course, uh, what it is. I'm using a, a Mac Pro, just in case, because I'm using a lot of hardware, and um, I bought the Power Core series, and uh, the, um, what's it again, the uh, United Audio, Universal Audio, yeah, I don't know, UAT, and, um, yeah, which only fit in a Mac Pro, so uh, that's why. Then we go to my... Uh, yeah, actually, uh, workspace. Um, as you see, I'm using Logic. Uh, it's very basically, actually. And uh, the only hardware thing I use is the virus. And yeah, well, um, everything is pretty much inside, inside the box. So it's um, Logic 9. I bought it. I just want to prove you. It's not a downloaded version. <laughs> there we go. And um, oh wait, I just forgot the bass trap. I just bought the bass trap because my low frequency started uh, sounding all over my chamber, and 
I really went crazy through it, so I bought the bass trap and it's really less now, it's better. So if you do have a lot of low frequencies floating around in your room, just buy one. It's really better. So, um, yeah, well, this is my, uh, my project, my remix for Housequake. I uh, can't, can't say the title yet because it's, uh, it's not released yet. By the time um, it's available, uh, you'll recognize this one. I'm gonna um, let you hear something. Um, I'm really curious to what you think and um, actually um, yeah well a lot of people keep asking me what plugins I use it's very basically everything as you see I'm using a lot of EQ on the channels uh, it's important for me to have everything in control so no noises and no uh, no needed frequency so everything has its own EQ and yeah I'm using spreaders channel EQs compressors high cuts low cuts it's very basically just um, your master depends on your mix and it's not the plugins you use on the master because it's it's the it's rubbish it's just uh, the mix you do and if your mix is alright and if your mix um, sounds good then it, it doesn't matter which compressor multiband or whatever you call it um, you use in your master it's really the mix which is important and yeah make sure you use the, the right sounds as you see I'm using um, UGOT plugins at my uh, master channel um, the only thing I use is a maximizer and a limiter and some EQing and that's about it. Uh, no spreaders, no stereo spread, no uh, yeah, whatever you like. Just uh, basic stuff for me and um, yeah, well that's about it. I'm really curious uh, to what you think about the track and what my studio and if you like you can subscribe to my channel so you can receive my updates and my studio fixes. Um, hope to see you next time.